Purdue at Nebraska. Nebraska, a two and a half point favorite. Total of 39 and a half on this one. And uh, this one is at 2.30 p.m. Central Time, FS1. FS1. Full season numbers. Got Nebraska by 5.98. And you can start to break down some of these things, right? PPA margin, Nebraska number 61, uh, Purdue number 96. And that all has to do with uh, Nebraska's defensive numbers. They are... They're pretty good on defense. Pretty good on defense. Um, offensive success rate, obviously not good. Purdue's is better, but regardless. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at what Purdue does on offense over the full season. Number 93 PPA per pass. Uh, teams like to throw it on Nebraska, but they haven't been good at it. Nebraska's number 42 in the country, PPA per pass allowed. Number 54 in passing success rate allowed. So this Nebraska defense actually better at stopping the pass uh, or better at stop. Well, how about this? They're pretty good at stopping the pass, and their numbers are better on defense than Purdue's are on offense. Even with Graham Harrell and Hudson Card, right? It's rushing the ball that's going to become an issue for Purdue. They're not going to be able to stay ahead of the chains uh, because Nebraska's defense is really good at stopping the run. Turns out. Now these numbers do not matter, right? Because we want to know about the most recent. Numbers, And the most recent numbers would have Nebraska favored by 2.3. Now, part of that is because their offensive numbers have just completely tanked. Number 110 PPA per drive, but they're number 40 on defense currently. Uh, it's kind of the same thing with Purdue, though. Number 97 PPA per drive on offense, but number 46 on defense. What Purdue does on offense is... They want to be able to throw the ball, right? Like, they're, they've are they been better running it, but they're not, like, generating a bunch of points by running it. So they want to run to maybe set up the pass. I don't think they're going to be able to do that in this game. Uh, it's going to be cold. You know, it's going to be in the, the upper 30s. There's supposed to be rain, potentially snow in this. I think Nebraska is better built for that. Uh, and when you start looking at like five factors and talent and whatnot, I mean, it is, it heavily skews towards Nebraska. Uh, I think, I mean, turnover margin big here, all this kind of stuff. I'm going to trust uh, Nebraska, right? Net explosiveness, they are much better over the last four weeks than Purdue. Uh, this feels like a game where Nebraska gets right not gets right. I mean, they've won several in a row here. They, I think this team's good. I think Nebraska's good. And it's less than a field goal. I will take the Cornhuskers to cover the two and a half on that. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.